Shi Jinmo became more and more famous, but he didn't settle simply for being a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. He had received the new style education and so was open to Western science. He'd learned a lot about Western medicine. He thought the advanced methods of Western medicine worthy of study. In 1921, Xu Jin Mo made several applications to the government to establish a traditional Chinese medicine hospital. His applications were rejected because there was no precedent. The pioneers of the day suffered many setbacks over matters that would later be taken for granted. Xu Jin Mo was undaunted. He carefully studied the differences between Western hospitals and a traditional Chinese clinic, including how the patients were diagnosed, how the doctors made prescriptions, and how they treated their patients. The main difference was that in Western medicine hospitals, patients would be asked to be hospitalized for observation. So Xu Jin Mo decided to set up a traditional Chinese medicine sanatorium. Since it was not a hospital, the authorities approved his application. With 20 beds, his sanatorium was the first traditional Chinese medicine clinic that allowed patients to be hospitalized. Xu Jin Mo kept learning and thinking while accumulating more experience. He still believed the importance of innovating traditional Chinese medicine. Today, traditional Chinese medicine enterprises all have their own research and development teams with a wide range of experimental instruments. Special equipment is made for the research and development of traditional Chinese medicine. But a century ago, there were few such resources. One day in 1924, a traditional Chinese medicine pharmacy in Beijing received new equipment. These included glass test tubes, instrument stands, and alcohol lamps. The staff had never even seen such equipment, let alone use them. The pharmacy was a Chinese herbal medicine shop established by Xu Jin Mo. As well as exploring different hospital systems, Xu Jin Mo wanted to use Western medicine manufacturing technology to produce traditional Chinese medicine. He worked on making decoctions, tinctures, syrups, and powders. However, the limited technology of the time and inadequate sterilization meant that the products often turned bad too quickly. Xu's efforts were adjudged by many a failure. However, future generations were to show that his ideas were not wrong, but simply ahead of their time. Hardened by this experience, Xu's talent and persistence would not be prevented in his aim of developing traditional Chinese medicine.